Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to a sales and deals update on Steam and other places. It's been a while, so let's get into this because there's a lot of content here to cover. So, quick mention for a new humble bundle. This is the fully loaded Night Dive FPS remaster. So, Night Dive Studios FPS games remastered most of them. Multiple tiers, so you can pick and choose what you want. Starting with a five dollar tier, where you get three games: Blood, Fresh Supply. Turok and Sin Gold plus a 10% discount for uh, Definitive Edition code. Definitive, I have not heard of this one. Anyway, $10 tier will get you Doom 64, Turok 2, Seas of Evil, Forsaken Remastered. And $15 will get you Power Slave Exhumed, Rise of the Triad Ludicrous Edition. And then the $20 will also get you Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion Remastered. In my opinion, I think $10 tier is pretty good. Even 5 is good, you get 3 classic games. Or even like 15 doesn't seem half bad. 20 just seems a little too much in my opinion. But if this was also included in the 15, I would have said that would have been a better deal. But I guess this is a newly remastered game released on the 30th of November. So yeah, if you are into these retro FPS games, these are as retro as they get. And yeah, so link will be in the description if you want to pick this up. And also a reminder for the humble choice because we actually did have a good humble choice this month after several months, it seems. So we had Rekusa Like a Dragon, Hi-Fi Rush, which unfortunately the studio shut down. And the game is pretty good. Also not that great in terms of regional pricing. So it's a good deal with the bundle. And then Steel Rising, which is something I really wanted. So, and there are four or five other indie game so you have um laurel not king of the castle bravery and greed manda the adventurer and mediterranean is it mediterranean inferno anyway so these are the three main games that you would like so 12 dollars will get you all three all the games in fact all eight games steam keys and this bundle ends on the 4th of june all right now on to steam let's first start with the first descendant so this is a you could say MMO style game coming out I think next month but they are doing a technical test right now uh, this weekend on Steam I have played the previous two closed betas technical tests that they did one last year and the one year before first year I was kind of interested last year I wasn't that impressed now I'm going to check it out again see if it's any good it's from Nexon they are promising not to have pay to win stuff and all of that in here um, my main concern is the world feels quite empty that was the main issue for me hopefully we have we see more this time so anyway the technical test is available right now i mean it starts tomorrow weekend but you can uh, download it right now the preloads are available it's a 22 gb download so if you are interested have a look third person mmo style game now next up let's check out the sales starting with dave the diver now dave the diver has been a popular indie game for the last couple of years since it's come out i wanted to get it but the increase in the regional prices has prevented me it is on a small sale here however right now they have a new update to the game and that is godzilla is making an appearance in the game i think the godzilla from the latest movie minus one the game as you can see is overwhelmingly positive both recent and overall so this is a free content the godzilla dlc and also this Godzilla DLC is limited. So it's only available for uh, um, six months. So Godzilla, let me show you the Godzilla scene here. Uh, they went with the red Godzilla. I thought he was blue in the movie. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, graphically, it looks pretty good here. So anyway, Godzilla is in Day of the Time. And this one is available from the 23rd of May until the 23rd of November. So basically it's a free content, but you have to add it to your account before the 23rd of November because licensing or something, it's only available for six months. So if you already have the game, just go and grab it, add it to your account. It will be available. And after the 23rd, you won't be able to add it. But if you do add it before the 23rd, you will be able to play it even afterwards. So that is one reason I'm considering getting this game because it was already something I wanted. Anyway, it is on a small sale, 25% off. Would have liked it to be a little more, but it's not bad. Reason pricing is decent here. 
fifteen dollars um, in the U.S., six sixty in India, twelve seventy four in the U.K., nineteen forty nine in Canada, and fifteen in the eurozone. Next, we have a sale of the Call of Juarez games, and all of them are very very cheap here. So the first game, maybe a little dated now because it was from two thousand seven. Is 90% off only a dollar 49 cents 85 pence. So these are um, Western shooter style games with a bit of a story. I think the story is different in each of the games, but this is the first one here. Came out in 2007. This is made by Techland. Techland is the studio behind uh, the Dying Light games. Next up, we have the second game, Bound in Blood. This is from 2009. A bit better looking, and same price though. So only 49 rupees uh, and 99 cents, 85 pence and so on. And the final game is a little more, but still, this is the most recent, looks the best and overwhelmingly positive as well. This is 98 rupees, $1.49. All these games are also on sale on GOG if you wanted to own the games, but the Steam versions are cheaper, right? So you can go with the Steam versions here. So you can also buy the whole bundle, which will give you a small discount together. So for example, here, we have 49, 49, 98, 98, 196 will be the total here in India for all three games if you buy them separately. In the bundle, you're paying 176, so 20 rupees cheaper. Next, we have Elder Scrolls 5, uh, Skyrim on sale. So I'll mention this. These are very cheap these days. 80% off, only $8.359 in India, 7 in the UK, 10.69 in Canada. You can also upgrade it to the anniversary edition later if you wanted, or you could get the anniversary edition right now. Still not too expensive, but again, it's quite a few years old now. Next, we have Middle Earth Shadow of Wars, another big AAA game from a few years ago that is very cheap right now. So this came out in 2017. It fixed a lot of issues from the first game, but they also had added microtransactions and stuff at launch. They did eventually remove the microtransactions and then made a definitive version and removed everything, even though you could feel a slight grind towards the later parts of the game. But the game is very enjoyable. The combat is fantastic. The world is interesting. Story, not so much, but it was the gameplay that was fantastic here. Some of the missions, like the fortress missions, online missions, those were fantastic, where you could basically go and attack other people's fortresses or stuff like that. So really, really good set of games. So the skip the space version, go for the definitive version because the price difference is negligible, only a dollar. So six dollars for the definitive version, two sixty nine in India, four in the UK, eight in Canada, five in the eurozone. I'm trying to remember how much time I put into these, but I think this one is like a comfortable 40-50 hour and 40-50 hours of enjoyment. Also, the bundle is available. Both the games, all the definitive version of both the games, is only a little more. So you can see here, this second game is six dollars with the bundle is seven dollars. So you get the full version of the first game and the second game for seven dollars. Both fantastic. First game was very impressive. The Nemesis system they introduced was groundbreaking and that was a big deal with that game. Only downside with the first game, at least for me, was the low FOV. Gave me headaches. But apart from that, game was fantastic. Um, so yeah, so this bundle is $7.379. Both games, big games as well. Like the second game, I think is like 100 GB download. So keep that in. We also have a sale on Valheim. You can see here very positive reviews. Still in early access. It has been in early access for a few years, but they keep adding more stuff. Still pretty popular. Open world survival crafting. Up to 10 people can play. You can build your own houses and other things. So really enjoyable game. And this is $10, uh, 264 in India. Still on the good old regional price. You can see the difference here. So yeah. And in case it goes up, I'm just saying, maybe consider picking this up because the difference is quite huge in terms of regional pricing. So 774 in the UK, 1139 in Canada, 10 in the Eurozone, and 224 in the Philippines, 225. All right, finally, wanted to mention the Warhammer Skulls Festival. So basically every year they do this Warhammer Festival of Skulls thing where they promote all their video games based on the Warhammer franchise. Now, Warhammer tends to license their games, license their IP basically, to different you know, publishers and developers, and they all make different types of games. So there's no one type of game that you get with Warhammer. You'll get all the genres that you want. So what I've done is I've gone through this and picked a few games that I think you should you know, try out depending on what genre of games you like. 
So there's first of this Speed Freaks game. This is like a racing game where you are like an orc army or something and you're racing. This is available um, as a beta right now. You can download and play this. I think the full game comes out later in the year or something. But I think this will be a free to play. You can see here Mad Max style game basically. So this is the first one. Now let's look at some of the individual games. First up we have Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War. This is a 4x strategy game. And the reason I'm mentioning this here is this is free again. This was free last year or something I think. They gave it away. This is also free on Epic and here on Steam. Both places this is a repeat. This is the base version. You can grab this until the 30th of May. Free of charge and then play it later. Of course there are a lot of DLCs for this game which are not included. So you do get the base game here if you wanted to try out if you are curious. So this is here. Next we have uh, Space Marine. Now the second Space Marine is coming out later this year. I'm thinking of making a separate video because I have quite a few things to talk about that one. But the first one is here. Uh, this was also given away free several years ago back in 2018 or something. And I do remember making a video. So I got it from there. Some of you may have it. They have sort of upgraded it to the anniversary edition, which includes basically more artwork and stuff like that, digital uh, books and stuff. So this one is on sale here. Um, third person action adventure game. I have played this. I did like it. Is this from the PS3, Xbox 360 era? So I found it to be quite fun. And uh, it is a little expensive though. So this one here is 80% off at $5.99 in India, $12.00. 8 pounds 1380 in Canada and 9 in the Eurozone. 12 dollars here however this is also on sale on GOG for 10 dollars now the game is no longer supporting multiplayer so both the versions on Steam and here are basically single player versions and the campaign isn't that big now um, five six hours maybe so keep that in mind but the game is decent I wouldn't mind trying it out. I got it for free. I played it. I really liked it. I would have been happy to pay $5 for it. 10 seems a little much, especially how old the game is from 2011. But this is one of the better Warhammer games in my opinion. You see, this is 7.5. I think I finished it in about 6. So, yeah. Next, we have Port Gun. So, this is one of the newer games. Very positive. And this is made in the Doom mod style, basically retro boomer shooter style. And you play as an ultramarine and you kill chaos and stuff like that. 88% positive reviews, excellent. But again, a more recent game, so it has the recent uh, pricing, so it's not as cheap, I suppose. So it's $14.29 in the US, $7.14 in India, $12.34 in the UK, $19.49 in Canada. I have this game, I bought it on Epic with the coupon and stuff. And also, there is a new DLC coming out. Forges of Corruption. So basically a new expansion with like five chapters or something. Don't know if it's a free one or if it's a paid one. Um, June 18th. Probably paid uh, maybe, I suppose. But yeah, the game has been quite popular, has done well, looks good, runs well. So if you are looking for an FPS in the Warhammer setting, this is a good one. Next we have a turn-based tactic style game. Um, this is Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus and a second one has also been announced for this one. You can see here Mechanicus 2 announced. Uh, this one was also quite successful, quite positive, was given away free by Epic. So again, you may have it. If not, uh, it is on a decent sale here. 80% off, 260, six dollars, five pounds, 779 in Canada, 579 in the Euros. And another game that I have played and I was thought it was interesting is Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. So this one is a ARPG, sort of like Diablo. And you have different classes you can choose and play. Now, personally, I played this um, purely as a story-driven game. I played it and tried to do the story and stuff. With stuff like Diablo 4, for example, I do play and finish the story and grind and do the dungeons and the quests and all the other stuff, endgame stuff. Here, I just played the main stuff. But if you are interested, it is a decent game. It has got mostly positive reviews. I've seen the reviews bounce from makes to positive quite a lot here. Not a lot of people playing right now, but it is quite cheap here. So you have um, the base version at $10, uh, $400 in India. And that's the definitive edition, which has a lot of stuff. They added a new class 
this one's sororitas i don't know if it's included in it is included now the version i bought this was not included so i'll go and check my steam library to see if they added it for free because they were selling it separately even outside the definitive version but now it seems they have added it anyway this definitive version is 18 720 in india 15 in the uk 2339 in canada the the regional price has gone up here a little bit and then we have another newer game another turn-based strategy game this is warhammer 40,000 chaos gate demon hunters so they had a game called demon hunters uh, sorry chaos gate um, in the late 90s and this is basically you could say a remake of that with a different uh, group let's say now uh, what are they called legion chapter this is basically the gray knights first game had the ultramarines and this was actually pretty good very good looking game graphically as well uh, different difficulties a big campaign a lot of upgrades and things so pretty interesting game and now quite cheap as well so this is 70 percent off um, 5.45 in India. This was quite an expensive game at launch. They have sort of reduced the price and also put a big discount. So 13.49 in the US, 10.49 in the UK, 15.44 in the US, in the in Canada, and 13.49 in the Eurozone. This was like a $50 game at launch, like two years ago. Now it's a lot cheaper, especially in India with the regional pricing is even good. So yeah, so this is another good game that you could try. I'm only mentioning games with positive rating. And then finally, we have a more sort of, uh, let's say animated style game, comic book style. This is uh, 40,000 Shooters, Blood and Teeth. So this is based on the orcs. This game is made by the developer of Gulls, Gore and Cannoli. So it's made in that sort of art style. And it's a fun short game, 2D side scroller, where you're playing as the orcs and trying to defeat the uh, ultramarines and others, space marines. The game is uh, quite cheap as well, 40% off, 317 in India, $12, $9.89 in the UK, $16.19 in Canada, and $12. Euros. It's like a two, three hour game, so keep that in mind. But yeah, um, another different game if you wanted to find something like this in the Warhammer setting. And yeah, that's it for this one. Lost to cover. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.